fuck your movement, fuck what you talking about, and fuck everything come with it, nigga. Me and Blood gotta get out. Man, that nigga ain't nobody, man. That nigga ain't finna do nothing to nobody. All he can do is try to have something done, and when he miss, he know it all hell gonna break. Look what he's scared of. He's scared he gonna miss. And we'll come after that, because then ain't nothing safe. Nothing safe at that point in time. Man, you ever see that nigga when you can't call nobody on me? I told them niggas, me and Blood got to get out. They didn't call me three times. Whack, they want to come to the table. Paro told his man that be with him. Me and Blood got to get out. They say, oh, man, he ain't going to do all that. Then oh. what? Fuck no. Fuck no, nigga. Nigga, you leave beef outside, the maggots come. It gets spoiled and rotten and more fucked up. And see, I think what he didn't realize, I'm not a rapper, nigga. We ain't finna be standing there talking about, look, we, nigga. And when I see you, nigga, we gonna make it move. However it move. Go home, go to jail. See, I don't mind it. Every day, I can picture the yard. He can't. And I don't know, when I'm 58, I don't wanna have no problem with a nigga like me. I'ma be real, bro. Then why y'all cheerleading, follow me on a nigga that ain't fuck this shit? Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your big dog, Thump. You tuned into another installment of Thump Talks. As y'all can see from that title, man, the boy Wack 100 still speaking on J Prince. Now, I don't know what Wack 100 infatuation is with this man, J Prince, but he has a deep rooted infatuation with J Prince. Maybe y'all know, maybe y'all can connect the dots and enlighten me on why this man stay speaking on J Prince the way he do. But I'm glad that Wack always puts his foot in his mouth because that gives me something to talk about. Everybody goes with the narrative he paints. And I don't roll like that. I'm gonna always have a difference of opinion with somebody like him. Because, because he relishes in the fact that nobody has the balls to go against what he say. And if you do go against what he say, the popular opinion on Clubhouse, you gonna get meta jumped by the whack of nuts if you go against the popular opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, this is my this is my arena right here. You know what I'm saying? That's why I do my thing here. You know, I can say what I want to say. You know what I mean? Right here on Thumb Talks. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it, man. Um, Wack has to defame your character in order to make yourself feel macho. You feel me? We're dealing with. We're dealing with some insecurity. And I'm gonna keep saying that. I say I say that all the time. This man is dealing with a deep-rooted insecurity, man. And it may come from his childhood, you know what I'm saying? You know. You know, maybe his mom ain't showing him enough attention growing up, you know. Maybe his daddy told him he wasn't good enough, you know what I'm saying? You know. Maybe his big brother used to put him in the headlock and Give him a wedgie or something, you know what I'm saying? Some of that nature where he he feels like he gotta lean on folks, man, to make himself feel good about himself. He does it to men and women, you know. He do it to weak men. Whack leans on weak men. He done softened up just about everybody on the stage with him, you know what I'm saying? On Clubhouse. He done softened y'all up. If you feel like you on his level by any shape, form, or fashion, he gonna have a confrontation with you to see where you at. He got to measure himself up against every man that he's around. And he, he even does it to the females, you know, he try to soften them up so that way he can um, get on FaceTime with you and how you doing all kind of sexual acts, you know, cause he's a sexual deviant, you know what I'm saying? In the words of Deuce Sims, he's a sexual deviant, man, you know. So any any man that's been on stage with this man on, on, on that platform, on that clubhouse platform, that's been 
on stage with him, man, you know, he has to poke his chest out in order for him to feel good about himself. You know, you can't have more money than him. You can't be laying with more women than him. If you one of them guys, man, he gonna, he gonna check you. He gonna check your temperature and see. Oh, uh, it's, it's, some, it's some folks out here that, that ain't back down from me now, and I applaud y'all. I'm not talking about y'all. Y'all few and far in between, but the majority, you know, he gonna step on them and keep on trucking. He want the females to know who the, in his mind, he thinks that's manly shit. But see, what we dealing with a metaverse, man. You feel me? You're not talking to these people in person. You're not getting them situated in person. So it don't count on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody got, it's a bunch of creative characters on the internet. So you might have, you might have hold their creative character and, and killed that. You know what I'm saying? But that person, a lot of these people, I don't think in real life they're gonna let you, a five foot five dude like you, like yourself, whack just talk to them any kind of way. At least I don't hope so. But anyway, man, let's get back to the reason why we're here, man. This man stay having J Prince name in his mouth. This man tries to convince Houstonians, people from Houston, that J Prince is not who they think he is. Why is y'all cheerleading this nigga? How are you going to influence people that's from a place where you from and try to make them feel like J Prince is not the man? Why do you care, what? Why are you worried about a man that's 1,500 miles away from where you at that you ain't went and pulled up on the check yet, man? You talk about this man every other day, man. Throwing little slick shots and all that, man, you know? I'm going to put some content in this video, man, so y'all know I ain't bull jabbing, man. I'm telling y'all the real, you know. This man stay speaking on uh, J. Prince, man. Like, for what reason? I don't know. So we're going to speak on you. You can speak on there, any and everybody, but can't nobody speak on what? That's why I'm here. I'm going to speak on you. Your character is flawed, homie. You go around reading and, and putting out all the rats. You expose all the rats, but then you do business with rats. That's because your morals and your, your, your integrity ain't intact. Your morals and your integrity ain't intact. You, you, you expose rats on Clubhouse, but then turn around and do business with rats in real life. That's an oxymoron, homie. You... Do business with 6 9 Troy Ave, two guys that openly got on a stand and testified against other individuals and caused them to get time. You know? Now, I'm only using them guys as a point of reference because that's what's out in the open. You know what I'm saying? He's done that. So, why is it cool for you to break all the rules and create your rules as you go? But you're trying to hold everybody else to some type of standard. You said you got it to do Richie, the do Richie, whatever, Lil Richie from Baltimore. You got a Lil Richie for having a, 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 a informant on his stage, on his on, on his clubhouse stage. You told him man he couldn't have no rats on his stage, but you done had plenty of rats on your stage. What? That's contradictory, man. You the only one that could break the rules, homie. That's because you a tyrant. You got to have control over everything. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't, if you can't control nobody, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to deal with them. Now, this man said that Jay Prince don't stand on his own too. He said Jay Prince want to use his money, his influence to have somebody to do something for him that he's not willing to do for himself. But you always say what when you get in tour with people on Clubhouse that you got a bag that their life ain't worth nothing but $1,500. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm going to show you what this bag do. I'll holler at you. See, who is this nigga, man? Who knows? You don't I don't know who this nigga. Okay, who is this nigga? Since he want to play all these games, we can all play games. Figure it out, dude. The biggest killer of sixes is sixes. All I got to do is drop a bag over there and knock you down. Okay. Okay. So you the same, you you that same person you talking about. 
This man talks so much shit, he end up talking about himself and don't even know it. When niggas be like, yo, whack, this, that, and other. Nigga ain't no doer ever gonna fear a nigga that gotta call a nigga to get it done. And don't nobody challenge him on that shit. Because they scared to get meta jump, meta DP, you know what I'm saying, on Clubhouse. Everything he says the right, he got the right answer for everything, you know what I'm saying? That ain't humane, homie, for you to know everything. To be all these places at one time, to know everybody's business. Speaking on individuals you don't know nothing about. He tries to defame J. Prince character, man, to the point where he want everybody not to even respect this man as a man, you feel me? Y'all niggas be kissing, y'all be kissing little man ass and act like these other niggas ain't really who they is. That J. Princeton done things in this industry, man, that a lot of entrepreneurs and independent um, independent label owners, man, they done took advice from this man. They done, he done broke down barriers in, in, in this independent game, you know, dealing with the majors, you know what I'm saying? De dealing like a major. He tried to tell down Master P, you know what I'm saying? He was even, you know, he was even, you know, talking, talking slick about P, man, you know, at one point, but but P, man, one thing about P, P a real dude, man. You know, P, P a real man, you feel me? So that didn't last long, you know, but he still throw little slick shots, man, you know, whenever somebody brings somebody's name up. Because people on Clubhouse, man, they speaking from the heart a lot of times. They be on the stage with whack. They be speaking from their heart, man. They, a lot of them, I can tell, is genuine people, man, but they have the curve, they, they, they mindset around what, what he thinking about. You know what I'm saying? They got they got to get on the page. They got to get on the same page as Wax. If Wax says purple outside, they go, oh yeah, it's purple outside. You know what I'm saying? You know, so a lot of times they be wanting to have that their own mindset and use their own brain on Clubhouse, but when Wax says something, they automatically change they they whole answer. You know, or the way they think. You know what I mean? Just to fit what he talking about. But yeah, man, you know, um, he's still speaking on Jay Prince, man. I don't think Jay Prince gonna even uh, entertain dude. He's not gonna entertain Wack at this point on the internet. I think he's done with that. But we shall see. But look, man, if you're new to the channel, man, hit that like button, hit that share button, comment down below. If you already subscribed to the channel, I appreciate you. It's a big dog thump. Until we meet again, I'm gone. scary ass nigga man that's why when i hear niggas talking i be like i don't mind me because you just champion a whole nigga where he at so can i ask you oh, a you, oh, you, know, you know what they tell me oh, whack, he ain't gonna do that niggas forget you, my right? niggas respect me you know why my niggas respect me because i'm going first i'm front lining with them i'm gonna die about it right there this nigga's a bitch nigga that sit over there and take a bunch of niggas with no money and say, here you go, and send them.